Hey there, Coach Devin here. I have been having a lot of conversations with clients during coronavirus. People are at home, no one has access to gyms, people don't have access to equipment. Everybody's frustrated. It's just the way it is. Everybody's frustrated and they're worried and they're concerned and how the heck am I gonna stay fit during this time? And I'll tell you, I'm right there with you because right now, as you can see, got a pick line in my arm. I have about two weeks left with it. I got a staph infection in the discs in my back. So for me, I wasn't able to do a whole lot. I mean, I can walk up and down stairs. I started doing squats and lunges last week. So things are progressing for me, but I've been basically since the beginning of April, not able to do much. I was hospitalized for a week, yada, 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 a bunch of stuff. So for me, I was basically completely off any kind of exercise for a full three and a half weeks. And it, I've been slowly coming back into it. It's frustrating. I feel you. It is frustrating. It's a lot of syllables and frustrating, but <laughs> it, it's tough. It is just hard on you to constantly be trying to grind your way through something, especially when you've got other things to do. You've got a lot of stress in your mind, but this is where exercise helps you. So what I've done is a lot of people have been messaging me, hey, Devin, how do I stay on track? Well, I gave you some tips about three things to do with food. I'm going to give you two simple ones for exercise. Easy and to the point. Number one, schedule. That is the biggest thing you can do. Schedule. Look, if you say I'm going to work out five times this week. All right. You say I'm going to work out five times this week and then you don't schedule it. Next thing you know, it's like Thursday and you don't have any more days. You can't fit it all in. And that creates a negative thought process in your head where you're saying, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't get what I did, got done. Move on. Doesn't matter. Who cares? And you skip it. And then it's another week later and another week later. That's not what you want. What you want is to be setting yourself up for a positive experience. So that thing comes down to scheduling. And I know no one loves scheduling. No one says, you know what I'd like to do is schedule some things today. I don't do it either. However, if you build it into your schedule, you'll do it. I can guarantee you right now, a lot of you guys are watching a lot of Netflix. Somebody's probably come to the end of Netflix and they're like, wow, I have binged on everything there is. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a TV watcher. I don't really watch TV outside of football. I don't watch a lot of television, just never been a big fan. I didn't grow up with it. My mom and dad thought television was bad for you. So I, you know, I don't, I don't love TV. And what's funny is, I've watched a hell of a lot of television and movies and Netflix since this started because you know what? I was stuck at home. <laughs> I had nothing else to do when it's cold and it's wet or it's snowing or whatever. What got me through was scheduling. You just have to schedule. So I have to get IV twice a day. It sucks. 8 a.m. in the morning, I come in, get IV. It's about a half hour. And as soon as that IV is done, I've already got my exercise clothes on. I go out and I walk up and down the stairs in the apartment building. Just up and down. I know it's boring. Seems like a stupid thing to do. I'll tell you, it'll get your heart rate up. It will make you more fit. It'll give you something. Most people have access to stairs. If you don't, you can go for a jog. If you can't, you know what? There's a million different things. We're putting on, on the 360 Facebook page, free online workouts on Facebook Live every, basically every day. There's several a day. There's two of them today at noon and at five o'clock. So there's, there's options for you out there. If you are feeling like you can't do it, but go schedule it. If you can't do it at noon and do it at, at five because you're still working, well, God bless you, you're an essential worker. That's great. I'm happy for you are working, but it's still there. You can click and turn that video on whenever you like, and you can watch that video whenever you like. So it just comes down to scheduling. If you're gonna do it in the morning, do it in the morning. If you're gonna do it at noon, do it at noon. If you're gonna do it at night, do it at night. We're not talking hours. I don't expect anybody to put hours and hours of time into exercise anyway on a regular basis. I think four to five times a week, every week is more than enough. That's what I do. I feel like anybody can do that. It's, it's sustainable. It's just a sustainable thing to do, but you have to schedule. So take a look at your schedule. Be like, okay, if I have to go to work, these are the days and this is the time I'm going to work. I have half an hour at these times, scheduling three to four workouts in a week. It's enough something, anything to get you going because you'll feel better if you schedule. I promise you, your head will feel better. Your stress level will be down. You'll be a better spouse, better parent, better friend, better everything. You just feel like a better person. Maybe I'm just speaking from my own uh, two cents here, but you know what? You feel like a better person when you do something. It really helps. So that's number one. Number two, don't beat yourself up because you can't do some of the things you're used to doing.
And this seems like a, an honest, an obvious, obvious one, right? You're saying, well, Devin, what are you talking about? I can't do lots of things. Can't do push-ups, can't do chin-ups, can't do curls. I can't do anything because I got that damn tech line in. I can't walk up and down stairs. I can't do squats. Can't even really do core right now because my back is still sore from the disc infection. So there's only so much I can do. It sucks. However, beating yourself up doesn't do any good. I mean, you can stay home and say, oh, I'm an idiot and I'm stupid or I'm useless or I'm fat or whatever. You can do those things all day, but it doesn't get you anywhere. In the wise words of Dr. Phil, how's that working for you? It's, it's, and that's an honest question. How is that working for you? Don't beat yourself up if you miss a workout. Don't say, oh my gosh, I only get to work out three times this week. Well, you're three times better than the person who didn't work out at all. And you're three times better than yourself if you haven't worked out. Look, doing something is the biggest key here. You just need to do something. Bring that stress level down. We're seeing all the time people who are you know, depressed. There's a spouse abuse is through the roof. The domestic calls the cops, obviously super high. People are going missing. Like People are stressed. Everybody does better with exercise. It's just a fact, that's scientific facts. You do better if you do things. If you are active, you feel better. If you eat healthier, you feel better. So be active. If you're not gonna eat perfectly, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Do something, but don't beat yourself up. If you miss it, or if it's only 20 minutes long. Heck, if you run up and down your stairs for 10 minutes, that is 10 minutes more work than other people are doing. Anything is a positive here, guys. All this about is just baby steps. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Little tiny steps to help you stay more fit, feel better mentally, and you know what? Be in a better position because at some point, gyms will reopen. At some point, you're going back to working out and you want to feel good when you come back to it. So just schedule that stuff in your day. Figure out a time. Say, I'm going to do it three times this week, four times this week. These are the times and then be a slave to it. Do it every day. Do not back down. Make that a priority because you're making yourself a priority. And number two, don't beat yourself up if you do miss something or if you don't feel like yourself or you're like, eh, that workout was, eh, it was only okay. That's fine. That's okay. If it's only an okay workout, it is still a thousand percent better than no workout at all. I hope everybody's staying safe. Have a good day. Hopefully to God, we will get some better weather. Don't fight the awesome. Take care, guys.